어, 왜 성경에는 강대국으로 어, 노예로 이렇게 보냈을까요? Why in the Bible are the people sent into the powerful nations as slaves? This is what all those scattered disciples must remember. Starting as slaves all the way as wandering nations or fugitive nations. This is what you must remember. Scattered disciples, you are the disciples who are in hardships. More than any other times, this is really the time that we are really in need of prayer. Because China and America have no choice but to fight. That's the situation that we are in right now. We are in a situation where North Korea and South Korea have no choice but to fight. Already, we see Ukraine and Russia are, Russia are in war. Israel and Hamas in Palestine, and they are in fighting, in war. That's why we are in a situation that we urgently need to pray. In the midst of all this, you are scattered disciples who are carrying out the evangelism movement. I really believe that this is the activity of the force of darkness. That's why you must pray. Why did God let the tabernacle to be mobile, to be portable and mobile? Because for them to move, they need to be able to move the tabernacle. But this is a very important, famous word. Why did God destroy Herod's temple? And why is it yet not restored? God wants the church, but not like an idolatrous shrines like Herod's temple. Why don't we put ourselves in different shoes? Let's imagine that Herod's temple still exists. Would that be beneficial? No, it would be a loss to us. If it really existed, if it still exists right now, because all the Israelites will be so boastful. And people will just flock and just line up to go there. Which means that people will all be driven to the path that has nothing to do with the spiritual things. Not only did God destroy Herod's temple, God also destroyed the Ark of the Covenant. What would happen had it, if we still have the Ark of the Covenant with us? It would be so troublesome, knowing that God destroyed it. That is why you need to understand the very deep aspects of all this. You must all possess the very answer that can reach out to the 237 nations, 5,000 tribes, to all TCKs. This is all you need to remember. That is why you already know the covenant of Calvary, but what is it that you must absolutely hold on to? It is that it is all finished. You must not have misunderstood. It is finished. It is finished. And Jesus promised to be with us always. That's why he commanded us to go to all peoples, to all nations, and to pray in his name. And then we'll be able to heal them. And Jesus finished everything. And then Jesus gathered them at Mount of Olives. And what did he say on the Mount of Olives? Jesus spoke about the background. And you are on the move. You are the people who are enjoying it while you're on the move. While you're in transit. And already about the marks of the room. You know it already. It's all about enjoyment. You 
just need to experience it. And with this, you are able to move. That is why, in conclusion, your commission is tremendous. So let's look at the Muslims. Do you know what's going to happen? They will have these religious murders. It will happen. If you look at the stream, the stream throughout the world history, the communists killed all the capitalists and capitalists killed all the communists. And you must preach the gospel in the midst of this. In the midst of all this ideological, all this values, divisions, people have no choice but to have ideological murders. Because people don't ever change. And in the midst of all these places, you are the ones who are penetrating to share the gospel because people will be put to death. People are so fearless, they just kill each other. Some Muslim organizations, they just enter into the church and then just massacre all the people. We don't know what's going to happen. And we're now having this financial war. We are in this very fearsome war. And also, our scared disciples must also plow into China as well. And China, more than any other times, they are in the most difficult difficulties. They are in the severe, extreme financial hardship. That's why they are in a situation that they want to prevent and block the gospel. And you preach the gospel in the midst of this situation. In other words, you must do everything according to what's written in the Bible. Unless that you do it with seven partisans, seven journeys, and seven guideposts, it will be impossible. Because seven partisans are uncentralized, nobody can steal it away from us. And nobody can steal your journeys. And no one can block each and every word of God being fulfilled in all these guideposts. That's why it must be our method. We must plow into the field with the what took place at Calvary, Mount of Olives, and Mount of That's why the mission given to our scared disciples is different. You must pray for the sage. Let's say, let's say a war breaks out in Korean Peninsula, it would be a totally different story. Many of you thus far have lived. However, what's going to happen to our next generation, to our posterity? They will face tremendous disasters. That is why our scattered disciples don't share the gospel, but with this tremendous spiritual power and strength, you must be in prayer so that force of Satan, that is, in control of the rulers, the authorities, and the powers. Father God, we thank you. Our scattered disciples are sharing the gospel in places where they cannot preach the gospel. May all the force of darkness crumble at this time. May all ideologies crumble at this time. May all of conflicting values of worldviews come to an end. May all of the disputes come to an end. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.